We begin this midday with the lifting of the city of Houston's boil water notice. Thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Sirota. And I'm Lisa Hernandez. That notice was in effect until early this morning. KPRC 2's Brittany Jeffers joining us live with a look at what it took to get to this point and what comes next. Brittany. Yes, and many businesses, many people say they had been waiting for that announcement. We've learned from the TCEQ that they notified the city of Houston to rescind that order at 637 this morning. Then at 650 this morning, Houston city officials then lifted that boil order. But here at this business, at this bakery, they tell me that they are in the midst of their busy season. And so for them, they say they have been waiting for this announcement. When Ricardo Hernandez received this alert this morning, it was a major relief. The boil order in Houston was lifted. It was heaven on earth because we were going through so many extra steps that it does slow production and this is our busiest time of the year. The boil order issued in Houston directly impacted the day to day business here at Aranda's Bakery. Boil everything and then we bake everything, so it slowed us down a bit, but it didn't stop us. Following the boil order, water samples were taken at 29 different sample sites and then submitted to Houston Water Labs on Monday. This morning, the city lifted that boil order, citing water quality testing submitted to the TCEQ confirmed the tap water meets all regulatory standards and is safe to drink. As far as the next steps in this, city officials say that people should flush their water system by running cold water faucets for at least one minute, clean automatic ice makers by making and discarding several batches of ice. Hernandez says they've followed all precautions and they are back in business. Now to catch up with a little bit of lost time and we should be back on track for the Christmas holiday season. So something else to note here, TCEQ is investigating this incident as well as the response. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News.